Welcome to the Green Aqua YouTube channel. We're having another live event, the visual composition in aquascaping. Let me tell you uh, about what I think about composition, picture composition. This is, this, is a, this is a skill. This is a skill that can be learned. So if you did not have any uh, prior photography, painting, or any fine arts experience, you will be able to, to learn the basic rules. Uh, if you learn the basic rules, you will be able to do a nice and visually appealing plenty tank in your home, in your office, wherever you want to create. Let's just run through the um, basics of picture composition, okay? So very, very, very important. Before you start moving, before you start doing anything with your layout, before you buy any rocks, any wood, before you start to draw any pictures, you have to decide what you want to do. If you don't have a plan, you just start buying stuff and trying to arrange stuff out of thin air, then uh, you will not be able to compose a nice picture, okay? So you need to do that. Let's move on to the uh, Photoshop. Why can't I... Smart object, mm, okay, so I need to put another layer. There you go. Now it's fine. No, it's not. And also the brush should be thicker so that you guys see what I'm doing. Yeah. So triangle, right? Let's, let's learn about picture composition. So plan. Plan comes first always. If you have a plan, you will not make a mess of your aquarium. What is triangle composition? See, this is a triangle composition, right? You see that? Okay, my problem with this is that we, we really have this triangle right here, see? But the problem is that the top part, let me change the color, the top part of the image is empty. Okay, so this is a composition problem. So let's move on to the V-shape compositions, okay? So as the name suggests, you've got a V-shape in them. This is the V right here. See, one side is heavier, so this side is a lot heavier. The other one is lighter. This tank was made by uh, Mr. Dave Chow from Hong Kong, a great, great aquascaper. You've got a V shape here, right? You could see that this is a triangle composition. I mean, you can say that, because you know, this is a triangle, right? But it's also a V. So it's quite interesting, it's quite intriguing. So he's combining these two. So let's move on, island composition. Uh, let me do another layer so that I can draw on it. So the island is like that, right? It's like the Monument Valley picture that I showed you. Which one? This one, this one, this one. Okay, so it's an island composition. More island compositions. This one is also an island composition, but with a V twist, okay? So this is an island composition. Uh-huh with a V. Do you see the V? Oh, very important because some people, I just saw that Victor commented something. I'm really sorry, but we are not able to make any sub subtitles. But you can always click on the automatic translation and then YouTube will just, you know, translate something based on my very bad Hungarian English. Anyways, so sorry about that, guys. So you will still have the Thursday and, and occasionally Monday uh, pre-edited videos with subtitles, okay? These are our contest works. Uh, you can see that you will need to have a clear message. And in order to, cl to communicate a clear message, you cannot make a mess. If you make a mess out of your layout, the message will not be clear, okay? So all good tanks have a clear message. Whoa, wow, sunrise, right? Oh wow, look at that rock formation. They melted because of some, some solar activity, whatever, okay? Forest, oh wow, it's a saguaro cacti forest, right? With hills in the background, okay? Quite clear. Oh, that's a rocky sump. The rocks are sticking out of the grass, right? <laughs> oh, it's a great gate, hmm? It's a great gate in the nature, made of plants, a plant gate. Rocky Mountain, easy, easy to identify. What's your favorite layout? My favorite layout is the most difficult one because of what I talked about in the, um, 
In the psychology of aquascaping, you always have to be at your limit or a little bit above. Not too much above, because then you will be frustrated. Not too much below, because you're going to be bored. So my limit is because I've been working in the picture composition business, TV, films, etc., aquascaping for more than 30, 35 years now. I think that you know my limit is quite high. So the uh, the diorama style, the uh, the landscape style that I discuss later is my style. Uh, that's what I use mostly. But I really love making other types of tanks as well. So a good island composition. Pushing the limit for my technical skills is also something, some novelty, so I'm trying new styles. So anything that will stretch my, my skills is fine for me. I don't go for favorites, I think. But, you know, I did this for many years, so I'm, I'm quite in a different position. Let's talk about your tanks. Uh, we have a Discord channel. For those of you who did not join our channel yet, just go on Discord if you have it. If you don't, uh, you will have to install it or I think you can go online uh, on, on, in a web browser and then you just search for Green Aqua and you'll find the channel. And we have a channel which is entitled uh, YouTube Live there. So if you, if you click on that, uh, you can send in your own tanks, pictures of your own tanks. You see that you have two islands on the left and on the right. I quite like the height of this whole structure, but I think we should be closer to the surface if possible at that point. So what is the story? The story is that we are in a jungle, but then the plants and the, the whole thing are not representing the jungle. I saw some of your pictures before. This is the biggest message of this one hour live event today at Green Aqua. If you take away this only one thing, then have a story. Decide what you're going to do. A fallen tree, a valley, two islands with, uh, with uh, stuff growing on them, a rainforest. Come up with one or two words that would describe this whole thing. And then do everything in your power to represent that, okay? You had a concept, but you could for some reason not communicate it. This is my idea, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, main point, you should like it. Whatever I say, whatever everybody else says, the whole process of making it, the fulfillment of the process is the most important and the most important is that you're happy with it. Nobody else matters, I promise you. We move on to the Photoshop and then, oops, I did something that I should not. Let me put on a layer of, whoa, the brush size is huge. Wood, 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 and wood, okay? Can somebody tell me what my problem is with this one? Yes, they're all parallel, Camille, you're right. Okay, so this is the golden ratio point here. And then we do this one here, the big one, and the, the other one is here, and the other one is here, and maybe we put another one here, and maybe one could stay like that. You already have a layout that is a lot more nat naturally looking, Okay, how can I say without criticizing? I'm, this line is also, it's a horizon line. You never have a horizon line of, of plants like that, okay? I really like the fact that some plants are growing out of it. I really like that, see? But that, that doesn't look natural. It looks like it's made, that you put it there, right? Sometimes you guys buy some, some, some roots and, and you keep the bigger branches and the smaller branches. If it if it doesn't make any sense, chop it off to break it. You don't need the bigger branches and the smaller branches. You just create a mess. If you want to create a mess, you have to do it on purpose. My first aquascape? Are you kidding me, Escalon? This is great. Okay, you know what you're doing. Okay, so you've got a V-shape, like a, an A-shaped, actually. This, this one is too much towards the center, so you should push this whole thing to the left. I know you cannot because of the size of this rock. But if this would be a little bit bigger tank and have more space and, and at the left, and have this in golden ratio there, and then trim the plants and do something else with it, yeah, you know, you're, 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 you're good. For first tank, this is great. Wait, look at this. I need to stop. <laughs> Wait, I'm sending a picture. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Still sending pictures. Thanks so much for being here. We will continue from this point, okay? Please see my tank. I know, I know. I would love to see all the tanks and I will, I promise, and we'll get back to this. We'll see you next time, okay?